Hello, you love. You missed the happiness at the Radio Resort in Escanaba, Michigan. And we are going to do a little podcast to see if we can get some of this news from the young man here that is really good for you. Give us a little info on how the radio station and where it started and how it began, please. Well, we have 17 radio stations, and um, they are in Escanaba, Marquette, Manistique, and Iron Mountain. And um, our newsroom for all of the stations is here, that here being Escanaba, and uh, that's where all the news comes from. So and this is the News Talk, 93.5 FM, 600 AM, WCHT. What got you involved to be into radio? Uh, I was nine years old and walking by the radio station and I was curious about what was going on. I'm inside, so I pressed my nose up to the big plate glass window, and one of the station managers came out and said, would you like to see what's going on inside? And I said, you bet, and I went in there, and that was it. Nine so, years old, so the yeah. radio had, that's what made you want to be inspired to get into radio business? It is, yes. So I also heard that you had radio station over in Hawaii. I did. I was involved in Hawaii and Hilo on the Big Island. Hilo, yep. in the Big Island. Yep. Wow, so how long have you been into the radio business? Um, I got my first job, um, unpaid intern in 1966, and my first paying job in 1968. 68, wow. So now we get to hear some of your news and all that. I know you love pipe organs so much. Can you give us a little bit of history of the pipe organ? Because I know I went to some pipe organ in Crystal Hall. Sure. Theater pipe organs were designed to accompany silent films back in the days before movies got sound tracks. Um, movies got to be very, very popular. Most of those huge movie palaces that were built, like the Fox in Detroit or um, the Paramount in Seattle and all those big palaces that seat, you know, three, four, five thousand people were all built in the mid-1920s and that was about five or six years before movies got soundtracks. And so one of the ways that was most economical for theater owners to accompany movies rather than to have to pay a full orchestra was the theater pipe organ. And Wurlitzer started making them about 1915 and they made their last one I think in 1931 and 1932. At that time, there wasn't any market for them anymore. But uh, they're, they're big organs. They're way different than a church organ. One of the biggest differences is the voices are different, um, more in line with the drama and comedy that you would find in a movie. And the other thing is is that they have percussion instruments built right in. So there's, there's snare drums, bass drums, uh, great big gongs, uh, cymbals, sleigh bells, xylophones. It's all built right into the organ, and one person working at this at this at the console can um, basically simulate a full orchestra and accompanying the movies. And it's really something to see some really the theater organ accompaniment. In fact, Turner Classic Movies um, just this past week ran the original Ten Commandments from nineteen twenty three and they ran it with a with a theater organ soundtrack and it was really cool. Wow. So you go on some pipe organ, you're in a pipe organ organization and you go on trips? American Theater Organ Society, we go to a convention every year. And we also have a chapter in um, that covers Upper Michigan and Northern Lower Michigan down to Saginaw. It's called the Great Lakes Bay Chapter of American Theater Organ Society. And right now we're working on getting a theater organ installed in the Delft Theater in Escanaba, which is being rehabbed right now by, by a private owner. Wonderful. Well, I know I take in um, music appreciation at Bay College and we learned about the pipe organ and, and it was very interesting or how you taking me on some trip in Crystal Fall and I got the opportunity to go behind the stage and see, mm -hmm. walk up the uh, stairs and see all those big pipes and how the music and stuff be coming out. That mm -hmm. is very interesting. But I was also told if you found a pipe organ today, and because they stopped making them, mm -hmm. and it's very worse of uh, good at good price. So oh, they're 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 to buy a 
to build a new or buy a new pipe organ today from scratch, um, even a fairly decent sized church organ is probably a quarter of a million dollars. It's very, very, wow. they're very expensive to make, um, which is why most people just try to keep them up and even keeping them up is not cheap. Wow. So when we, when you all uh, do the Delph and build here, get the uh, pipe organ more established in the bay, in the Delph, <laughs> so they're going to do more silent movies and they everything? Will do, they will do silent movies, they'll do concerts. Um, it'll be available for, the place is going to be rented for weddings and banquets. It'll be available for that. Um, it's actually two organs that we're planning to put in there and combining them into one. Uh, one is an organ that was most recently in the Sioux Theater. Um, it's very old. It's a heritage instrument. It goes back to 1914, the first year. Um, it's, it's opus number, in other words, the production number, is very low. Um, 80, it's opus number 85. And by comparison, Wurlitz are made over 3,000 instruments. So the later numbers were way up in the thousands. So it's a very old instrument. And then there's a second organ in storage that we're going to combine with it. Um, it is a Barton Theater organ. Those were built in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. This particular one was installed in a theater in Iron Mountain, and then later it wasn't being used in the mid-1930s. And so a kids group at the church, Catholic Church in Vulcan decided to raise money to buy it and to move it into the church in Vulcan. We got it because they needed the space. They weren't using it anymore, and they needed the space for other things. And um, so it was a matter of us saving it, or it would be going to the Delph. So we saved it. So that will that'll be uh, that will be combined with the Wurlitzer. Most people know the Wurlitzer name. Not as many people know Barton, but Bartons are all over. Um, there's a very beautiful original instrument in the Ironwood Theater over in Ironwood that's a Barton. It came from Oshkosh. So um, this will be a Barlitzer, I guess you'd call it. It's half and half. <laughs>
any old tune that you like to give us real good? I know you love the old well, classic music. My my voice isn't working. All right, it's not working, but we appreciate you now. Now, we're going to close for now and allow you to get back to work, and maybe we can be able to record some of your footage if it's okay. That's not a problem. I am. Good morning. John Gibbon is calling for record high temperatures for this October today. 84 under sunny skies today, maybe up to 83 tomorrow with partly cloudy skies overnight, low 64. Thomas by with his forecast, of course, in more detail right after this news. I'm Don Corinna, 49-year-old defrocked Catholic priest has been convicted of child sexually abusive activity in Chippewa County. Aaron James Nowicki was nabbed in an undercover operation back in 2021, according to our partners at Local 3 News. He had sought to have sex with a 15-year-old decoy through the social media app Grinder. NMU officially inaugurated its new president on Friday and his inaugural remarks Rock Tessman cited one of his predecessors. Bay College West Campus hosting a resource fair on Wednesday, October 4th. Bay West Campus Executive Director Jason Sullivan says it's for students and those in the community. Eleven thirty to one at the Bay West Campus in Iron Mountain Wednesday. The Oscar G. Johnson VA Medical Center in Iron Mountain gets the 2022 Best Overall Experience Award. From the Department of Veterans Affairs, Tim Ellison is a public affairs officer at the Iron Mountain VA. News of Listen to the news. <laughs> the Michigan Energy Innovation Business Council naming State Representative Jen Hill its Public Official of the Year. The Marquette Democrat cited for her quoting now, forward-thinking legislation to lower solar energy costs for consumers and enhance Michigan's energy security. Former Michigan House Speaker Rick Johnson headed to federal prison, the 70-year-old pleading guilty to taking bribes while chairing the Michigan Medical Marijuana Licensing Board. U.S. Attorney Mark Totten, State Representative Dave Preston will accompany a disabled Escanaba man to his job at Walmart on October 23rd. The Santa River Republican will accompany Daniel Paul as part of Take Your Legislator to Work Day, all part of National Disability Employment Awareness Month. I'm Don Kerr, and there's lots more local news at Ray I know one thing, you got to have some strong vocals and breathe. I love the way you said the last word and the BA, it's yeah. like you took it and slang with it. Well, the reason, I, I, was doing that, the yeah. reason I was doing that was because I couldn't find the, I couldn't find his audio track. Oh, you can find the audio <laughs> track. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it swayed in good. Hmm? It, went, it went well, well. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, I'm John Curran. Coming up in news, Northern Michigan University installs its 17th president on Friday, and the Bay College West Campus Resource Fair is coming on Wednesday. We'll have details on those stories and lots more coming up shortly. I like that. That was a little bit better than the first one. Way better. Back to the news. Practice! <clears throat> All right. Okay, here we go. Two more calls. Good morning, I'm Don Curran, and coming up in news, a 49-year-old defrocked Catholic priest convicted of uh, child sexually abusive activity in Chippewa County and another big national award for the VA Medical Center in Iron Mountain. We'll have details on those stories and lots more in just a few Two minutes. short news teaser. I call the tease. They come before the commercial, before the newscast. Say, so coming up in news, blah, 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 blah. See you in a minute. Coming up a news, blah, 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 blah. Coming up a news, you're going to hear Mr. Happiness 
Okay, throw it down with some love, love, love in the air. <laughs> and now it's love. The show was on hard to do. Hmm? The show was on hard to do. Yeah, they're harder too because you have to do a lot of that living to make sure everything fits. And this is the News Talk 93.5 FM, 600 AM, WCHT. I'm going to say everyone loves to hear you on the radio. Everyone loves to hear you on the radio. They love to hear your news. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. So now you're sending them to the other stations. You just dropped a tip. Seven. In the dust and all of them. A treasure troll of a story I tell. Memory wrapped in a magic reel. A window to the past. It reveal Fading image of forgotten sign A time capsule waiting to find Hey, let's drop and drop this tape And push play Rewind the years Let the memory sway the way through the laughter and tears, we'll find our, our way In the magic of the tape, we'll stay Crack the lips, section of the family home The tambourine symphony has begun Lost in the memory, catching in time a melody of a life in entwine in the image of a god that got the sign A time capsule and capture capture and when did you be found? Then y'all just drop the tip and press play Rewind the years and make the memories sway away Through the laughter and the tears we'll find our way with the magic of the tape we'll stand. In the attic we'll memory reside We'll keep the tape by our side For as long as these reels spin and play Our story live on day by day Fade it in and we got the sign a time catcher in the way to be fine. Let's drop it, let's drop the tape and put, put, play out. We run the years, make the memory sway. Through the laughter and the tears, and we'll find, find, find our way out. In the magic of the tape, we'll stay out. The years may pass, but the memory lasts there. A treasure troll. Of a memory of shit. In every line, in every form, a time's legacy we reclaim. Which each we wind, we see the past. Joy and sorrow. Wave and embrace. We find our strength in the tape. Warm embrace. Drop the tape. All right. Until then, everybody, everybody looking for love. We thank you so much at the Radio Resource for giving this broadcast and this interview. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Love, love, love is in there because God is there. Do that she's going to come into your way to stop you from succeeding. What God has planned for you today. I thank you all for watching my tutorial. Until then, later <laughs> at the radio station.